It's always uh, humbling, I think, for me to, to stand in front of so many illustrious people, uh, institutions and actors who have uh, a track record of delivering some very concrete results. Today's meeting uh, brought together people who've been working around issues with, uh, on data um, for sustainable development. We had um, uh, participants from government, from civil society, from academia. And we spent a day looking at how to move conversations that have been happening over the last year on uh, data communities uh, to a practical level where things actually get done. And today was a great day bringing together partners from government, civil society, academia and research to really talk about the action that's been had in 2015 and the way looking forward in 2016. I was really excited to hear about the engagement from county governments and the work that needs to be done in terms of capacity building and using data for action. And the key question is, we are talking about data. How do we get this data? As the peers of the county, how do you ensure that you have facts when you are formulating and making decisions? As a county, we were at the lowest uh, that, that could be. For 50 years after independence, all our departments were at zero levels. So, you can imagine when you are struggling with food insecurity, you are struggling with water, you are struggling with security, you are struggling with all these things, and you want to focus. Now, how do you prioritize? Where do you start first? So the little thing, the data that was already on the ground before the government, is what we used to come up with, we say for these five first years, our focus will be on water, on education, and on health. The rest can take backseat. For example, ICT, for three years consecutive, we are running on zero budget. And I can't complain much. Why? Because there is an existing data that shows for every kid, for every maybe 200 kids, there is one teacher. So, I, 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 I don't think that this conversation will have come at a better place, at a better timing for us, because we had an idea of what we want, only that we didn't know how to verbalize it. Now this forum will give us that. We set out to set up a conversation um, that was going to be candid, uh, that was going to lift from this abstract level where concepts are nebulous and not concrete to one where we can say uh, you know some specific things need to get done uh, and to a large extent I believe we, we managed to get there with this with this uh, with this gathering we had a very high level of engagement people with fantastic ideas we had a panel uh, from the county uh, represent representatives from the county governments who essentially allowed the, the other participants to get a better picture what data issues look like in the county. It's a very good forum because uh, it shows us that we need standards in our reporting and the data collection so that whatever information comes from the county can be trusted and people can even put it in their other documentation. The, the truth is if, if anybody is interested in any information right now in the Kitri County and I believe in most other counties is uh, you, you are sent to the departments who are custodians of the data and as someone was saying we, we're not very sure about the integrity of that data. And what we've done in, uh, in our department over the last few months, we've actually made contact with the KNPS and we are contracting them to, we try to, to, to do a survey, a sample survey on the well-being of the county since 2013 when uh, the county governments came to be. And we want to know the progress that we've made. We do collect a lot of information. And I will tell you that even when we are doing like survey, for example, in the urban areas and particularly in your households, people who are sitting in this room, you are the most difficult respondents. <laughs> so if we are all interested in quality data, when our research assistants come to your household, please provide them with the data. When you go to the rural households, you will get a response rate of 96-97%. But in your households, when they get an 80% of tribe, 
This particular terrain is a very important terrain. It will be one of the most important terrains over the next 15 years as we move into the post-2015 development agenda. And being there, mobilizing our constituencies of researchers and universities is very, very important in that process. What we have done uh, is that um, uh, because uh, data of older people have, ha, you know, has not been collected consistently, we have uh, been training our old, older people to collect data on how they are accessing the, the services. For instance, uh, we have uh, developed tools like uh, age health friendly services where older people can be able to go to a clinic they collect information related on how they are attended to, how long have they taken on the line, were they, were they examined, were they given, um, you know, like drugs, were they, were they available? And all this data is then analyzed and uh, used now to lobby the various uh, policy makers. I think the link between um, the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals and, and data is, is quite close. The Sustainable Development Goals you know, set for us the targets that we need to achieve and the time frame. Data is our means of implementation. If you look at the, some of the other means of implementation, uh, technology, financing for development, um, you, you, you find that you need data to tell uh, first where to target your resources. Being able to measure progress about on, on implementation of uh, technology mechanisms or actual technology um, platforms, it requires you to have the data. So the data, the technology, the financing, um, they're so intricately entwined. Once you take one out of the equation, the other becomes a difficult composition to have. So innovators like those we house at the IHUB, for instance, what role do you see them play? various sectors. What are the capacity deficits that we have and how can we address them? How do we get some level of data coherence across Kenya? data is going to be extremely important to SDG success. I mean, the SDGs have a very ambitious number of, number of targets that need to be made. And in order to reach them, we're going to need data in order to inform policy making and implementation, but also to measure against them. So data will be crucial. We have to invest in training across the board. More training, develop more modules, more research, involvement with universities and higher education institutions. We need diploma courses, certificate courses, degree courses, in, uh, in data analytics, data analysis, in development data. I am hesitant to say it's either the agricultural sector or the peace and security. If you were to really ask me in terms of the ones with the greatest amount of deficits, maybe I would say let's prioritize the ones with the deficits so that we can bring them up to scratch with the other ones. Uh, honest thoughts, because we are the co-conveners and co-organizers, -organiz I think it's been an outstanding event. 